Hey guys! Hey guys! Welcome back to another video. For today's video, I am going to be doing a 21 facts about me so you all get to know a little bit about who I am and what I do. Fact number one. I guess I should mention my name because usually I don't mention my name. I'm Miguel and actually I changed the pronunciation of my name um, when I was probably in middle school and trained. Um, I think it was middle school because I went to uh, one of the schools for one year and then they moved to another one and I changed the pronunciation of my name because it was like it was just getting complicated for people to pronounce my name and even for myself like it was hard for me to pronounce my name fact number two my name is supposed to be French so it has like a different accent which I can't quite remember how it's supposed to be pronounced right. I think it's Mijeli or Mijeli. Fact number three. Oh my goodness, I feel like I'm gonna lose count of this. I am 21 years old and I get a lot of comments of people thinking that I'm like in middle school, not even in high school because of how young I look. Um, sometimes it's a good thing, sometimes it's a bad thing, especially when I forget to take my ID with me everywhere. Fact number four. See, I'm losing count. Jeez, already, and I'm only in four. I was originally born in Peru, and I moved here when I was nine without knowing basically any English. Um, I probably only knew my numbers in English and colors. That was it. And when I first heard everybody talk, that's when I was like, what are you all saying? Because I really thought everybody was talking super fast and I couldn't understand anything. So I would just tell them to like slow down and then when you tell somebody to slow down, they slow down a little too much to the point where like makes it even harder for you to understand them. So that was a struggle but supposedly I learned English pretty fast so who knew? Fact number five. I live in Boise, Idaho. I know some of you probably know it as potato land. So I guess I moved from a country where they make lots of potatoes to a state where it's known for having potatoes. But actually Idaho is known to be the gem state and Boise is known to be for the city of trees. Even though I feel like you need to drive outside of the city to see more trees. Fact number six. I currently go to college, I'm studying health science with an emphasis in public health. Fact number seven, what is number seven? It's hard to think about 21 facts. Why did I decide to do 21 facts? Well, because I was like 21 years old, so maybe I should do 21 facts about myself. Um, good idea, Miguel. Fact number seven. Well, on my free time, I like to make videos like this. And I just like to draw, paint. I don't paint as much. So like with painting, you don't get the perfect edges, the perfect um, color or shade that you want. You kind of have to go with the flow of the paint and not with like what you want it to look like but with pencils and everything else you have more control over it watercolors are like the hardest thing to do i don't know i always get shocked at people who are like so talented at watercolors because they do amazing things, amazing things. fact number eight my favorite color has been turquoise for the longest time ever like teal or turquoise, I feel like they're kind of in the same shade, so I really, really love those two colors. Um, well, that color, not two colors. Bag number nine, I am in a sorority. I don't know what you know about sororities or what you don't, but I really love my sorority. I'm part of Lambda Theta Alpha, and I really, really, really love their colors, burgundy and gray. It's such a perfect combination and I feel like I wear burgundy and gray a lot now. Like I used to wear burgundy and gray before I joined my sorority but now I feel like I wear it more often. And I'm okay with it because I love those colors. Fact number 10. 10. Fact number 10. 
Okay, we'll do a fun fact for number 10. When I was little, I had my feet that would go like inwards instead of like the normal, I guess normal is this way or like a little bit, I think it's supposed to be a little bit out. But when I was little, I had to wear braces for my feet. So it was, uh, it wasn't quite the same like Forrest Gump, but I love that movie by the way. But yeah, I had to wait, wear braces for my feet, like for a scump. And did I hate it? Yes, I hated it. But I mean, kind of glad I used to wear it before because now my feet are kind of normal. I don't know if it's normal or not. But anyways, yeah. And that's why I used to fall and trip all the time because my feet would just go inward. So I, it was like they would just stumble up on each other and flip. I would end up on the floor a lot um if not i would just like you know how when like you're about to trip but you catch yourself and you're just like all right that would happen to me a lot even now like i feel like i can't go to a trip without falling or tripping anywhere so like i always get injured fact number 11. 11. when the clock turns 11 11 I like to make a wish that is not necessarily for myself, but for everybody else. So, I was planning on telling you what I usually wish for, but you're not allowed to do that with wishes, so I'm so sorry. I cannot tell you what I do, what I wish for most of the time. Pack number 12. When I turned 12, that's when I saw that I was developing stretch marks. And honestly, stretch marks, like, they, it wasn't because I was gaining too much weight or I was losing weight too fast. It just sort of happened. It just, like, all of a sudden, I started seeing stretch marks on my knees, which is the weirdest place that you can find stretch marks on, which I felt like it was really noticeable. And ever since then, I had, like, um... No, I just wasn't as confident because of stretch marks because nobody else had stretch marks and I felt like I was getting oh so I don't know like stretch marks I feel like you should embrace them you shouldn't be ashamed of them because honestly everyone has stretch marks whether you see it or not like it doesn't matter everybody's gonna have stretch marks and you shouldn't feel bad about your stretch marks because they just mean that you're growing and that you're going through life and life is a journey and it's something that you should love so embrace your stretch mark fact number 13 math has always been my favorite subject since i was little because i was able to understand it i like the fact that there was only one solution that you could go and find just x and I know I just really love math. Fact number 14. I would like to travel more, visit more places, see the different cultures, get to know what are the differences and similarities with my culture. Fact number 15. Would I ever move out of Idaho? Honestly, I have been thinking about it. I want to be able to live in a different place. So moving out of Idaho is probably one of the things that I would end up doing, but at the end of the day, or at the end of a couple of years, I think I would end up coming back to Idaho. Fact number 16, if I were to shop for anything, I think I would end up shopping for shoes the most. I have a big collection of shoes. I even had to start like a Pinterest album where I post my shoes so that I know what kind of shoes I have. Fact number 17, what was my favorite memory as a child? I think my favorite memory as a child was probably the holidays and just events that they have in Peru because my whole family would get together, birthdays, um, like I don't know, they have a whole bunch of different events I can't even remember because I don't go back as often and obviously I left when I was younger so I don't remember all of the events that they celebrate in Peru but those were my favorite memories 
um, having my whole family together, growing up with a whole bunch of people, my cousins, my aunts, getting together with them over the weekend, being so close to them, like taking the bus and just going to visit them if I was bored. I probably was never bored and actually honestly I think my favorite memory was when me and my cousins we would sneak into my grandpa's room to watch his TV because it was like the only place where there was TV in the whole house it was in my grandpa's room and then he would like catch us and we would hide under the bed and then he would finally find us and get his little muleta or like his his muleta uh, chisels I forget words and then he would just like go under the bed and like be like get out of there what are you doing in here I'm gonna watch TV no go away go play outside so yeah that was one of my favorite memories up until now like I still remember that and it makes me smile because this is really funny and yeah that's one of the reasons the main reasons why I go back to Peru to visit is because of my grandpa and my family and everybody else Bag number 18. I was so for the last three years of college, I was working full time and going to school full time, probably between 15 to 17 credits a semester. So that was really challenging, and I think that made me realize how much free time I could have if I didn't work. So this is like the first semester that I don't work and go to school but I'm actually trying to find a job because it feels weird not to work. Fact number 19. What is my favorite number? So I have probably three different favorite numbers and usually I like to mix them up or just use them as individually. Um, so I don't know why but I like number seven. I don't know if anybody has favorite numbers but or that's just me being weird. But yeah, I like the number seven and the number four. I don't know why I just like number four and nine. Those seven, nine, and four, those are like my favorite numbers to go to. Back number 20. I wouldn't consider myself a pro at longboarding, but longboarding is really fun and I do it on vacation so when I borrow my friend's longboard because I don't have one on my own. But I don't know if you guys remember. The little twist, twist skate, I forgot what it's called, what it was called, but it was like you step on it and the way you ride it is like you have to twist, kind of like, I don't know, shake your hips or your feet, I can't explain it, but I, I was really good at that and I used to use that for like a few months and then I still have it, I just haven't used it in a while. And skateboarding, I feel like skateboarding is harder, so... I don't skateboard. I tried it. Uh-uh. Uh, fact number 21. <gasps> Dang, this is the last fact. <laughs> so, have you all ever heard about your golden year? If you haven't, let me just explain it to you really fast. Your golden year is the same day that, you're, that you turn that age on your birthday. So, let's say your birthday was like... January 28th so when you turn 28 years old that would be your golden year so my golden year would be when I'm 26 years old because my birthday is on October 26th sorry I had to think for a second when my birthday was that was weird how, how could I forget my birthday what anyway so yeah my golden year would be uh, when I'm 26 years old and I really want to do like something big like throw a party or something well not necessarily big but like have like a little celebration with like my closest friends and everything um, because I don't know it's my golden year I have those little golden balloons just kidding I just like balloons a lot balloons just make anything any event look nice according to me but that's it guys that's all I have for you all today um hopefully you like this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos and click the little bell so you can get notifications um, whenever i post a new video um i'll see you guys next time bye